Hey guys, so today we are back again with our another list for great keywords to target on Redbubble. So let's start our research. Let's go. So our first keyword is Leo P. Let's see. Leo P. So from what I can see, Leo P is I hope it's not related to Leonardo DiCaprio because that thing will be copyrighted. So Leo P is related to okay. So it's a musician. This guy's a musician. Leo P. I think I have seen this name somewhere. Let me just do a Google search before we can basically decide if this okay this is a music performer some people have created something related to him and from what i can see the designs are not necessarily copyright you know because it's not gonna affect the copyright laws like that because it's not not damaging that much as we can see they are not necessary this one could have some issues but these designs are good these you can easily create these designs and not have any issues and these are posters now for posters my recommendation is always check for copyright don't don't go crazy with these posters because you can have some issues so let's just check for best selling okay so this is the first one our uh, frame poster so let's check out this particular product Okay, hundred and nineteen dollars and ninety four cents. Not on the cheaper side, definitely. And this is small. Okay, so maybe these are the sizes. These are the prices for red bubble. So no issue. Okay, let's see. So this person has joined in two thousand fifteen. As I always say, the older your account, the better chances you have to rank. Look at this. Twenty one designs. So this person is ranking with just 21, 21 designs and designs are not that great either. It's like, and look at this B movie, B movie design. Oh my, these are copyrighted stuff. So anyways, that's just, this was the design. So Leo P, uh, my recommendation is, it's kind of a, kind of a risky topic to go. But uh, yeah, if you create something that is something like this, or something like this you 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 will be good uh, don't use the name don't use the name because there's a chance and they in copyright the if you create a design and it sells just because of the likeliness of the person uh, that's that's he, this person can this particular artist or his team can claim this design anytime and these are good these designs are good so anyways these are the designs for this particular keyword. Let's go to the next one. Next is Andrew Weatherall. Okay, let's see. Andrew Weatherall. Uh, okay. So let's search on Google too. Okay, so Andrew Weatherall is a musician, died in 2020. Okay, so this is why this particular topic is in the trending. So this person has died and people are creating designs. Now, I myself is not necessarily very appreciative of these things because, and look, the results are 30, just 30 results. So it's not that crazy either. Uh, but uh, yeah, my recommendation is if you want to create, create it, but don't create it with his name. Create something related to his music. If he's a musician, let's check what he does. What kind of music music he do? Just uh, just go on his Wikipedia page. Musician, songwriter, producer, mixer. So what kind of genre he creates? Like whatever genre he creates, like just try to you know relate, like make relatable design. Don't just copy someone's face or name just for the sake of their likability or whatever because that's just, that's straight of copyright infringement. So, and these posters, I think they are okay. 
but uh, yeah transformative work you have to take in consideration that you are basically using their likeness and uh, yeah and uh, on the top of that creating designs based on someone's death i don't i don't really yeah i don't like that so and i've seen this for dmx too when dmx died there are many designs and dmx was basically people were creating designs in bulk and just everything it was trending it was a trending keyword on red bubble and not very good look for red bubble to say the least so let's go to the next one horror movie keychain okay kind of a weird keyword let's see Loading mm, okay horror movie keychain. Let's search for best selling. Let's search here. So okay, so the keychains are like this. Uh, so so it's not something that, not necessarily. I don't know why this keyword is on red bubble trend, but apparently some people are tagging this this keyword. So in the world is Wonderland. It's weird. Very weird. So let's just check out the top selling design. Let's see what's going on here. And there's same design is ranking for three places. Same design. So basically this person just maybe just changed the name or something. Let's see what this person has done. Let's just open all three of them and let's check out what's going on here. Okay. So let's check out the tags because this thing ranked for our keyword and why is that hmm weird none of the product tags kids t-shirt so let's just check out this particular keyword then clearly this has got 31 results so let's just check out this particular keyword Let's see what this keyword is about. Oh, oh no. okay. Let's see. So, really is Wonderland. Hmm, interesting. It's a Nicolas Cage movie. Okay, so kids t shirt. Kids t-shirt. It is the same design. This person has created three copies of this design. Let's just check out their profile. Shall we? Let's check out their profile. So this person is from Washington, United States. Let's see. So they got 121 designs. Nicolas Cage. So this particular design, I have seen this design on John Oliver. John Oliver bought a pillow of this same design. Maybe the background was different, but uh, it, it was the same design, the banana Nicolas Cage design, Nicolas Cage related. Okay, so this is something related to Nicolas Cage. The movie was some Nicolas Cage movie. Okay. So whatever the case is, uh, do I recommend getting into this niche? You can, if you can get it into a transformative level with, you know, it goes around the whole copyright thing and basically goes out of the realm of copyright. So. You have to take that in consideration, but the niche is good. Let's just do one more thing. Let's check out this particular keyword. Mm. 334. Okay. So there are many, many of them. So my recommendation is go with this keyword. For some reason, this design is ranking for this keyword. And uh, guys, Okay, so before we move further, just don't forget to like and subscribe because these things really help and uh, motivates me to create new videos. Okay, so let's just go to the next one, XRP Sec. So this is why I find these rare keywords because most of the time when you find the direct keywords, you will not see them. And these keywords are basically people are searching for them. If they, okay, so let's see. XRP sec. What is it? 57 designs. People are searching for them and somebody is creating and tagging. That's why it's showing for the results. There is no way or there if nobody is using these keywords, there will be no results. So 
they have 57 and uh, let's see okay okay so xrp stack so let's see what is it what is xrp so okay it's related to ripple ripple let's say some ipo ripple what is it some sort of crypto ipo it's an ipo okay yeah okay so people are creating designs on this so let's check out the top selling design what they're selling 1826 pop oil copyright stuff pop oil. okay stay do not create designs like these guys they, they, you, this person is using pop oil for design and uh, that's not good I don't know how people are basically getting these designs and basically selling them because the facilities of Redbubble don't they check the designs when they create them? I don't know. This person is from Romania. Should we check out their profile? I don't think so because it's already copyrighted. It's a no-no for us. Whenever we see anything copyrighted, we stay away. That's that's just basic understanding. So if you want to create something related to Ripple, create something like this. This I would buy something like this. It's really nice. This one is nice. This one is nice. This one, okay, something to spaceship. There is a spaceship in the design. So, okay. So these to the moon, to the moon. This one is nice. And this person has joined very fairly early, fairly new, not early, fairly new. And uh, this is like 2021. So this year. It's really nice that this person has got his design ranking on number two for a keyword which is rare but not that rare. It's like 57 results and uh, and they will these results will grow because after this video whoever will watch it and take action. So Ripple XRP SEC. So let's go to the next one. So this is gonna be the last keyword for this video. And I will release the next one, part two, the next five. So please subscribe. And uh, I don't like asking for subscription many times. It's just the thing is that subscription really helps to grow the channel. So uh, Nick Terry. So Nick Terry, 36 results. Let's search uh, Nick Terry. Okay, what is Nick Terry? Nick Terry, murder animations. Okay, ooh. Interesting. This person is what? Some sort of animator? It's a beard keyword. Let's check out the best selling. Never. This is a keyword. Mm -hmm. Interesting. The, the speaker is okay. But uh, let's just check out the tags. This person is from US. Let's just check out the tags. Praise NBC. NBC is in the tag. Jesus Christ. Now, I mean, I guess you can use these Aziz Ansari. These are all copyrighted. To Tom and Jerry, Ben and Jerry. I think this is some auto generated tags. These are not, I'm pretty sure these are auto generated tags. So whatever the case is, apparently this person has got his design rank number one. So let's just check out their profile. Mm, 43 designs. Well, these stickers are really simple by the way. So just, just so you know. And uh, I think I have created a tutorial on how to create stickers like this. You can check out on the channel. And if you can find it or if you want me to create another one, feel free to put it in the comment and I will gladly make another tutorial. So these, these are some sticker designs, some pattern designs. Okay, most relevant. Let's check out best selling for this account. Because it's just not nothing crazy. It's like 43 designs. So this is the best selling one. What we found here is actually is best selling one right now. 
tier 2. So this particular design is selling a lot. My recommendation is use the same design. I mean not design sorry. Don't do not use the same design. Just use the words if it is not copyrighted. So let's just. I think it's not copyrighted but uh, yeah. Or just do one thing. Don't use the design. Or this just go for search for this particular keyword nick terry and uh, so this is basically something related to ron johnson park recreation court by ronnie johnner this is the title parks and recreation court so let's just search for this okay so it's related to office now i have never seen this show so I think it's related to office. No, no. It's Ron Johnson. So let's just check out what it is. Ron Johnson. Hmm. Parks and Recreation. Okay, my bad. It's Parks and Recreation. So these are the codes. Now, should you use these codes? Mm. just use them with caution and once you start to get some sales and if you have no issues with these codes then you'll be good just use them with use use them with caution because at the end of the day this is somebody else's character this is some character whose codes are being used and parks and recreation is the show let me just confirm this and i'm really sorry guys i don't know this show if it's a really famous show my bad it's just okay 8.6 on imdb 93 percent rotten tomatoes maybe i will watch this show looks like a good good rating so okay let's just check out uh, the rock i don't want to do it now just okay. raw samson codes there are only one thing i heard online this came up okay so the codes are funny and uh, you can use them clearly people are using these codes but on Redbubble, you never know. People, there is these could be copyrighted trademarks. So I think Ron Johnson quotes. You can use these quotes if you wanna, and uh, I think you'll be fine. So this is all for these keywords. And uh, what else? Okay, let's just check out here. So Leo P was some person's name. Andrew Weather Weatherwall. So horror movie keychain was a weird one. XRP like these two are really good. Andrew Weatherhall. So what we found on Andrew we Andrew Weatherhall. Okay, let's just so I can basically check it one more time. So if I'm not getting confused, I think it was some person. Okay, yeah, yeah. So Andrew Weatherhall acrylic. So you can use it if you you if you go a creative and use his music related something you know don't just use his name don't just use his picture and just create some poster out of it and try to sell it or even if you want to create a poster at least make justifiable changes like don't don't just put these like this this could be issue for you so anyway i think these are the i would go with two horror movie keychain xrp set nick terry is okay not not nothing crazy but uh, yeah leo p stay away from the leo p keyword so this was the keywords for these these keywords were for this video and uh, that's all there is to it so yeah thanks for watching don't forget to like subscribe because i keep sharing keywords and uh, basically trending topics for you guys to create designs with and that's all there is to it so thank you very much. Thank you.